a literal understanding of Genesis from an ancient mind point, uh, a mind frame, uh, would not necessarily be the same of what we think with literal. We think of literal of, of a series of events that happen in a certain order unvariably. That's a literal reading where everything that is said corresponds to reality um, in some sort of one-to-one -one sort of way. Um, ancients didn't necessarily think that way, literally. Uh, their, their literal impressions were more um, symbolic or metaphorical than we sometimes allow. Um, modern, I think modern evangelicals, of which you know I'm a part of that world too, um, I think we carry assumptions that are very modern assumptions, not ancient assumptions about the nature of reality that good communication will be literalistic and accurate in those respects. Um, story and metaphor and symbolism communicate things on a very, very, very deep level uh, that I think ancients had more of a, um, a sense for. It's possible, for example, um, to think of ancient peoples as being somewhat horrified <laughs> at how hyper-literalistically we might sometimes take their words. They may be more subtle and more um, sophisticated, dare I say, than we sometimes give them credit for. Um, so again, it's, it's a matter of trying to um, be self-conscious and self-critical about what we bring into that moment of reading the Bible. And that's an education. It's, it's a journey. It's, it's a pilgrimage for us. It's not you know, you, here are the ten ways to make sure you'll never get it wrong. We sort of have to enter into this reading and, and trust God that something good will come out of it.